Do we have new? No, new messages. Okay. So the only thing left here is Lee Wen and Jimmy. My name is Jimmy. I'm a transfer student. I arrived in Beijing not too long ago and now I'm a senior at Yingnan High School. The reason I chose to school is because I had a serious crush on a girl here. Just a few days ago, I was fortunate enough to be her partner in a doubles tennis match on my first day at the school. At first, I was so thankful that I thought the goddess had finally smiled upon me. Yet I was totally embarrassed because I had never even played tennis before. After that happened, I made up my mind. I was determined to improve my tennis skills just in case I had another chance like this. I adjusted the surf speed of the ball machine, walked back to the baseline, raised my racket and got ready. In order to get better, I had bought a season membership at the club. I even finished watching all 178 episodes of the Kid of Tennis anime. I had complete faith in myself. I believed I could make it work this time. The next time I got to play with her, I would show off my kick serve, my pickup volleys, my drive D, and even my Zero style slices to her. Are those references of the anime? <laughs> I could imagine they are. And she would look at me with admiration. <laughs> the ball machine shoot, shot the ball out with a boom. The ball was flying at 140 kilometers per hour. Ah. What a sneaky machine. How dare it serve the ball when I wasn't paying attention. Oh gosh, my wrist really hurts. The doctor said that it hurt my tendon. I needed to rest my right hand for at least a month. He said I should not even use a mouse, not to mention playing tennis. No. Doctor, I want to play. My dear goddess of fortune, if you can hear me, please heal my wrist. If it's necessary, I will even swear off video games for a month as a sacrifice to you. Please. God, this guy. Jimmy, please. <laughs> I'm Li Wen, a senior at Yingnan High School. Today, the new art teacher assigned me as his assistant for the class, so I had to stay after class and clean up the art classroom. I tried to sneak a few peeks at this strange teacher while I was reluctantly mopping the floor. He was looking over the sketches that had been left in the room one by one and then throwing them in the trash. It was just the two of us in the room. Neither of us was talking. Hey W, how was your first day? Mm, oh, hey W, how was your first day? It was my homeroom teacher, Miss Young, who burst into the room and broke the silence. She said hello to me and held on to Mr. Wen's arm like a little girl. According to what I had heard from Jing, Mr. Wen and Miss Young went way back. It was also Miss Young who had recommended Mr. Wen for the newly vacant teaching position. The beautiful Miss Young was said to be notoriously hard to get. Many male teachers in the school had allegedly been turned down by her. Was she involved with Mr. Wen? I grabbed the trash can and deliberately left the room. When I got back, there was no one there anymore. Someone appeared to have already replaced the barrel for the water dispenser too. It seemed that I could finally go home. Yay! It was starting to get dark when I finally finished cleaning the classroom. I walked out of the school gate and I noticed that Mr. Wen was walking not too far in front of me, going in the same direction. That was strange. I thought he had left a while ago. I didn't want to talk to him, so I stayed behind at a distance, quietly watching his back. Such a bad-tempered and terribly dressed man. How exactly did he become a teacher again? Before I knew it, Mr. Wen had walked into the dark alley that led to my place. However, as soon as I stepped into the alley myself, I suddenly felt that something was wrong, and I immediately backed out. Mr. Wen had been stopped by two men, one in front of him and the other behind him. The one facing my direction was wearing a tank top. He flashed a pocket knife in Mr. Wen's face. I hid behind the corner and tried to peek around it. Mr. Wen took out his wallet and handed it over without any resistance. That was smart, I thought. Better safe than sorry. The tank top guy fiddled with the wallet for a while and slammed it on the ground. Twenty? Do you think I'm a fucking beggar? He punched Mr. Wen in the face. Mr. Wen stumbled back and bumped into the guy behind him. He was still not resisting. The tank top guy placed his knife on Mr. Wen's face. Be smart, give me all your money. Judging from the look on his face, maybe that 20 yuan really was all Mr. Wen had. We were too far away from the main street and there was no one else around who could help. I suddenly had an idea. I took my racket out of my bag and grabbed the tennis ball. This was the time to test the results of all my nightly practices. Ball toss. Backswing. Please hit the target, please. 
the ball was flying at a speed of 180 kilometers per hour. Jesus Christ. A gust of wind suddenly swept by. The ball was blown off its path by the wind and it missed the target. Instead, it hit the back of Mr. Wind's head. Of course it did. Mr. Wind fell down to the ground with a thud like a brick. The two men noticed me. They seemed to be just as shocked as me. They must have thought I wanted to kill the man lying on the ground for some reason. The tank top guy took one step towards me. I began to picture how they would force me into the corner, pull a chainsaw out from behind them, and cut me to pieces. Oh no, I couldn't stay there any longer. I'm sorry, Mr. Wen. I screamed silently in my head and ran away with my hands covering my face, leaving Mr. Wen there by himself. The next day, Mr. Wen did not come to class. The school put out an announcement saying that he had been badly injured during a robbery and that he was in a coma at the hospital. The announcement also reminded the students to be careful on their way back home. It was all my fault. I shouldn't have left him alone. There must be a better way. Be when. Well, there probably is a better way. In this letter, there is the conflict special restriction which we talked about before. For instance, in these two letters, the two pieces 140 and 180 kilometers are in conflict with each other. That means they cannot be moved to the same side. If you try to do so, they will automatically switch places with each other. Both pieces are labeled with a double-headed arrow, which stands for conflict. This one is much easier to understand, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry, you will get used to all of these red signs eventually. Okay then, I'll try my best to remember them. I mean, this is fairly easy to remember. Um, there's also not many options I can choose. What I can do is either... Um, basically, I've got two options. I can either hit Mr. Wen in the head with a slower ball, therefore probably not knocking him into a coma, or I could hit the right person. Mm. You know what? I want to see that first. I feel like this might have a higher success rate in my brain, but it's probably not the right solution. Uh, also, I just realized that probably doesn't solve Jimmy's problem. But I don't really care about that. Before I realized it, the ball had hit me right in my forehead. It was so fast that it would be sure to cause serious damage if it hit someone. And it would be worse if it hit someone in the head. Oh, you don't say, Jimmy. In any case, I don't remember anything afterwards. <laughs> the smiles. They told me that someone else practicing at the court had called an ambulance for me. There are good people in this world, I suppose. Or, it must be because I had been such a great person every day. Hmm. That must be what they call good karma. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Think about that again, Jimmy. The ball was blown off its path by the wind and fell softly to the ground. Okay, so it didn't even reach them. Mr. Wen noticed me. I guess that would make sense. If you apply the same sort of wind pressure in the same direction, but the ball flies slower, then it wouldn't just hit the target at a slower speed, it would just not hit at all. So did the two robbers. The tank top guy took one step toward me. I began to picture- Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Mr. Wen, you can fight them! I screamed silently in my head and ran away with my hands covering my face, leaving Mr. Wen there by himself. The next day, Mr. Wen came back to school. He didn't seem hurt either. Although I couldn't imagine how he had gotten away, I was really happy that everything was okay. However, I didn't have the courage to go back to the art class anymore. I mean, you tried your best to help. That's fine. It's obviously not the best result best result is this um, I would assume at least I shut a little before I realized that the ball was already right in front of me I was so startled that I had to awkwardly block the ball with the racket and I accidentally hit the sweet spot it actually felt really great wait I just hit it Yes, I had. I had just hit an underspin shot. 
A technique in tennis where the ball is hit by slicing downward at the contact point, forcing it to have a backspinning rotation. It usually falls slower than a flat shot or a topspin shot. The advantage is that the ball will bounce in a backward direction once it hits the court, which could cause the opponent to whiff if not properly timed. However, a backspin is usually too slow, so if the trajectory goes too high, it could also easily go out to get volleyed. An ideal backspin should have very low clearance of the net to stay low and flat. Experienced players would often sneak in a backspin after a series of topspin or flat shots to disrupt the opponent's rhythm. Oh wow, I learned how to hit an underspin shot. Banzai, banzai. I jumped up and down with excitement. People nearby were shooting me at Mari. Strange. Looks. What does banzai mean? Was he hurt? No, banzai is a Japanese phrase. It means hooray. Although based on my observations, lots of people outside of Japan use this word as well. They are from many different countries and most of them are men. Oh, and they share another common characteristic. What is that? They're all single. Single? What's wrong with being single? Everything. Being single hurts. <laughs> In the end, Banzai still means hurt, right? See? Banzai means being single and being single means it hurts. This is very straightforward. I think I'm single too. Banzai. I don't quite get that. The ball hit the forehead of the tank top guy exactly as I planned. He fell down to the ground with a thud like a brick. Before the second man realized what had happened, I sprinted towards his back as fast as I could. I smashed his head with my racket with all of my strength. Then I grabbed Mr. Wen's head and hand. <laughs> I grabbed his head and ran towards the end of the alley. Ten minutes later. I was panting heavily and realized I'd already run all the way back to my apartment building. Oh, and I was still holding Mr. Wen's hand. Uh, Mr. Wen, ex excuse me. Th this is where I live. I quickly let go of his hand. Well, I might as well do a home visit then, shall we? A home visit? For a senior? By an art teacher? Mr. Wen, actually, there is no one else home. I walked in front of him and explained. Your parents always work late. Mr. Wen looked up at me while climbing up the stairs. The sunlight coming through the windows in the hallways was making him squint. No, I, I live alone. I stopped in front of room 413. But Mr. Wen didn't follow me. He stopped in front of room 414. He pointed to the door next to him with his thumb and smiled. I suddenly remembered. The first day after it moved in, the manager Uncle Sun had told me that a very famous artist from abroad had been living in the apartment next door. By the way, I really like this picture, it's great. So that was him. We had actually met each other before. Yeah, alright, oh, yeah, that was the S rank. Nice. No new messages, but uh, I've also done everything. Um, so what now? Um, hmm. Do I need to unlock more endings? I could imagine that, but that would seem a bit strange to me. Hmm. I'll put a quick cut here and I'll, I'll quickly look this up. Okay, so apparently you need to get S endings for everything to progress, which um, I don't think I like as game design, uh, especially because I mean, part of the premise is that, I, I mean, at least at the beginning of the game, uh, the dog told me I could decide the the future of these characters, and I actually can't because then I can't progress in the game. I have to get the best ending for them either way. But all right, I'll get both of these to an S. Uh, I won't show you. I'll just have to experiment a bit, but I'll come back when I have.
Oh. <laughs> Never mind, that was remarkably easy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got new post. Who are you? You sound very whiny. Hmm. Okay. A piece of rope and the lives in group loyalty. My name is Park Sangun. I'm 12 years old. Okay, that explains why you're so whiny. I live in Korea. My home was on a hill. There were a lot of similar old houses on that hill. And the one that was the highest was my home. There were good and bad things about living there. The good thing was, since our house was so high up, we got to be farther away from the other houses, and so we had a big yard. However, I had to climb the stairs for over half an hour every day just to go and buy my dad a bottle of vodka at the convenience store at the bottom of the hill. Oof. That's a big oof. If I didn't go, my dad would get angry. He would beat me with his belt. It wasn't just me either. He would also hit my mum too. I never understood why he would do that. I just wished that if he could figure it out, maybe mum wouldn't have to be beaten anymore. Dad was a road construction maintenance worker. He used to come back home with mud all over his clothes. But for the past two months, he always came home clean. Sometimes he would bring back some money and give it to mum. Other times though, he would take some money out of the pot where he kept our food money. That sounds like a gambling problem. Or a gang. Either or. Mum always worked very hard. She had to wash a lot of clothes and sheets during the day for other people. She said she was getting paid for washing them. I really wanted to help mum, but I was too short. I couldn't even reach the pole where she hung the clothes and sheets to dry. Alex came by today. He lived on the hill too. Alex was rushing, just like mum. They both had blonde hair and blue eyes. Just like me. The other kids who lived nearby didn't like me at all. They always said that I looked weird. Only Sue Me from the bakery was playing with me. She had once told me that she wanted to open a cake shop together with me. But I didn't like cakes. There was an ant nest in our yard. I was watching the ants carrying things into their nest. I bet they must have a very big home. Suddenly it started raining. A large raindrop almost blocked the entrance to the nest. I went back inside to get an umbrella, and I came back and covered the nest. Mum and Alex were talking and taking his cheats back inside. Then Dad came home. He was Korean. He had black hair and brown eyes. He was back earlier than usual today. He saw Alex there and kicked the umbrella away. Alex left. Mum went into the house with Dad. I followed them inside as well. You slutty bitch. Dad slapped Mum on the face and pushed her to the floor. He took a rope out from the cabinet. The rope was wrapped around her neck and choked her. Five minutes later, I grabbed onto Dad's arm with my whole body, but I couldn't stop him. He was too strong for me. Dad kicked me in the stomach and shoved me off of him. I fell and crashed into the corner of the room. Bastard. Dad called me that word a lot. I used to ask mum what it meant. She told me that it just meant bad child. Dad finally let go. Mum collapsed onto the floor, but she didn't get back up. It was as if she had fallen asleep. I tried to shake her awake. I tried as hard as I could and shouted as loud as I could. She would not wake up. I heard the door open behind me. I turned around. Dad had run out. I didn't know where he was going. I held onto Mum's arm and cried. Why? I had always been a good child. God, please let Mum wake up. I promise I'll be an even better child. I promise I will never be a bastard ever again. Park Sung-Gun. <sighs> okay.